everyone, it is Quasty here, and today we are going to be playing some more Rotato. This time we are using the Artificer character. This character focuses mainly on explosions, and yet again, I'm going to be telling you how to go from level 1 to level 999 with the Artificer in Rotato. Let's begin. So, the Artificer really focused on explosions, as I mentioned like 10 seconds ago. He has a massive boost in explosion size to start, and then every elemental damage you get increases your explosion size even more. It is really good. Now, some of the debuffs that this guy comes with is you lose 100 damage to start with, and armor modifications are reduced by 50%. And although that might sound bad, it actually can work in your favor uh, when you consider the fact that that also applies to negative armor modifications. So yeah, anyway. So, yet again, we are going to be trying to find the best weapons and the best items to use with this guy. So, let's begin. This guy can use four weapons to start with. The clank, the screwdriver, the wrench, and the shredder. Now, right away, I'm going to start with the two worst weapons, the screwdriver and wrench. These things are horrible. The screwdriver summons landmines for every enemy you kill, and the wrench summons turrets. Although that might sound cool, it is not worth the price of these weapons dealing one damage. One. Like, literally. One damage! Bruh, that is so low, I, it's... Honestly, here on screen are some of the most basic enemies' health. Keep in mind, these are the most basic enemies in the whole game. And here are some of the stronger enemies. Yeah, a weapon that deals one damage, it ain't gonna be very helpful against them. Anyway, Right, now that we've uh, tossed those guys, absolutely just chucked them in the dumpster, let's look at some ones that possibly are a little bit better. To, namely the Clank and the Shredder. Now, uh, saying these guys are a little bit better is an understatement. These guys are oh so much better. Compare my runs with these to my runs with the uh, Screwdriver and Wrench. Yep, that's a clear difference there. So, yeah. I think it's quite clear these are a bit better. So, yeah. The plant is a melee weapon that, sw that sort of swings, similar to the ghost axe. And leaves behind an explosion if you hit an enemy. Considering you can have six of these planks at once, it's actually a pretty good weapon. I really, really like it. But I would say the Shredder is just a little bit better, mainly because it's ranged. And I do think ranged weapons, usually they have to be perfect to serve a good use. But if they are perfect, they are far and away the like one of the best weapons in the game. You really need to pick the perfect map with your character though, otherwise you're just going to die super early on. But the Shredder is a perfect match with the Artificer. So yeah, it's amazing. Thing. You shoot something, it goes boom! Boom, just simple as that. And it's actually really, really, really uh strong even with that negative 100 damage it honestly it is probably one of the best weapons in the game pair that up with a character that takes a uh, full use of its number one benefit the explosion honestly you have got yourself a good weapon so yeah but let's just take a trip to items first what are good items? Now, although you don't really need to focus that much on getting damage back, 
with the uh, artificer because of the shredder. Now, if you see a glass cannon, buy it regardless. No matter what, buy that thing. It gives you 25 damage at the cost of only three armor. And with the artificer's quote unquote debuff, where armor modifications are reduced by 50%, that translates to you losing 1.5 armor for 25 damage. That is well worth it, so do that. So, let's uh, uh, rank the weapons and the items. So, weapons. Now, third place, I am unfortunately going to have to give to one of the total trash bags. So let's just give that to the screwdriver. Really, no, it's garbage, but anyway. Second place, the plank. It did come close to first place. There was a bit of competition. I just think the shredder is a little bit better because of its range. And then items. Hmm. Third place, I'd say, is the injection. That is a pretty good. Good, get some of that damage you're losing back. Second place is the cute monkey because it's OP, no matter what you're using. And first place is the good last cannon. Dude, this is so OP, honestly. And yeah, I'm gonna end this video off with a boom montage.